check out. I'm Claire Dunlop from the University of Exeter and I've edited a special issue for Policy and Politics on Policy Failure and Policy Learning and that's coming out in January 2017. Uh, the motivation for the special issue is uh, part practitioner related and part academic related. So on the practitioner side of things, uh, as an ex-civil servant, I've experienced policy failure, been on the receiving end of it and on the frustration of it. And as an academic, I've studied policy learning for years. So I was very interested in how scholars could bring the two things together and, and look at the nexus, look at the relationship between failure and learning. We know that policy failures are increasingly under the spotlight as citizens and the media access to information increases and also as government's budgets are scrutinised more and more. So in policy studies, we've captured lots of cases of policy learning over the years, so empirically we know a lot. And we've also begun to develop our conceptual frameworks to try and analyse those root causes. So our issue tries to build on those foundations and explore the role that learning can play in failure and explore that nexus really between failure and learning. So specifically, we're interested in looking at a variety of international case studies from policy sectors that range from transport to agriculture and ask particular questions. So in what ways can policy failures be considered a failure to learn on the part of policymakers? What is the contribution that learning tools and organisational frameworks can, can add to helping us avoid failure? Or more provocatively, can we think of failure differently? Can we think of failure as a positive good, as something which offers us an opportunity to change and an opportunity to learn, rather than something to be avoided?